<laughs> I want to make sure it's focusing. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about how you should talk to an artist. And we're saying this because... Better yet, don't talk. <laughs> Introvert. But we've met a lot of people, especially at art fairs, and they say some things and we don't think they should be saying certain things. And this isn't aimed at anybody in particular, so if you think we're saying something about you, you're, we're not. We're not. You're not that special. I'm sorry. Oh, Ooh, still. Deeper. Sassy. Ooh, sassy. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So we've compiled a little list of just things that we have heard and we hear quite often. And people aren't mean or anything. They just. They just don't know. They just don't know how to talk. This is how to talk to an artist, everybody. <laughs> So things that people shouldn't say. First thing is, is this your art? It's like, yeah. I, you think I'm just here with somebody else's art? Yes, of course it's my no, art. No, we went to Ikea. People, people looking. Mm -hmm. Another thing that people shouldn't ask. Are you the artist? It's like. Because a lot of times we share a booth, they don't know if they're just referring to one type of medium or all the mediums. Don't say that. You know we're the artist. You see somebody. <laughs> in the middle of a field in a white tent. Chances are they're an artist. Alone and abandoned. Another thing people have asked us, are these for sale? <laughs> no, they just have prices on them. Because <laughs> we just want to tell people, if we did sell them. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, so you know. Or, or worse, or this one goes on to it. But another thing that people have said to us, after looking at everything, how much are these? And it's like, did, did you read? Even as a QR code. Fine. We're, we're those hip gen extras. It's not like we hide all the prices and say you have to guess or put your hand in this big Easter basket, crack open an egg. That's the price to pay. No, this one is my most annoying one. And I know why people say it because they're trying to be nice. Please don't say I would buy this, but I'm super poor. <laughs> we, we get it. You like our stuff, but a compliment is just as good. Okay, you don't have to justify not buying something. You can just simply come in to enjoy the art. Yeah, you can just say, oh, this is cool. Yeah, you don't have to say, I'd buy this, but you don't have to feel guilt for not buying it. <laughs> Compliments are very good currency, so we will take that. Another thing we hear, we don't quite understand this, is people have asked Kara for commissions, they've asked me for commissions, and then they're super interested, they want a commission, and at the same time, they don't want a commission. They already know the price, and they want it, and then they're just like, yeah, I don't want it. So if you know these people, and you really want a commission, you know, we'll do a commission, but you gotta want it. Yeah, don't say I want a commission, and then say I don't want a commission. Another thing that goes with that last topic is when people say, I'll contact you, and then they don't contact you. If you're one of those people, don't, don't, it hurts your feelings. It does, it's like they thought they were gonna get back to us. It's like, oh, I'll, I'll call you, and then you'll call, you just broke up with us is what you did. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it's high school all over again, so thank you. Yeah. Maybe not my high school, but I'm sure a normal person's high school. The next one is a compliment, and we get it's a compliment. It's different from our point of view. When, when you say that we're so talented, thank you. <sighs> we like that compliment, but we also understand how much work we put into everything. So it's not 100% talent. A no. lot of it is hard work and dedication and skill building. Talent will only get you so far and then you'll plateau. So thank you for the compliment, but no. So you can say you're so talented, but we prefer skill. This is one that Kara dislikes the most. When they find out that she's a painter and she tells them, oh, anybody can do it. Every single person has the same excuse. I can't even draw a stick figure. Yes, you can. You're a liar. <laughs> you can't too draw a stick figure. Uh -huh. You're comparing a stick figure to one of Kara's paintings. Shame on you for doing it. As you whip the paper. Uh. Calm down, Frodo. Take it easy, Frodo. One once, and it was really insulting. Oh, I don't at least to us. Oh. It wasn't to the person who said it. They were looking at some of our art, and then they stopped and said, this must be one of your earlier works, implying that it wasn't oh. as good as the other ones. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. I mean, what a mom question. He's like, not my mom. <laughs> so yeah, don't ask if it's an earlier work because that implies that it's not as good as the current work. It's just different. It is. Thank you. Okay, this one's just for me as a woodworker. It really bugs me, but it's a compliment that people give me so I don't get really mad about it. 
I, I build furniture. It's weird old type furniture. And then they ask me if I do the framing for Kara's paintings. Oh God, yeah. And that's how they base my skill level. It's like, oh, you must be really good. You do framing. And it's like, it's a 45 degree. My miter saw stops at 45 degrees. I could be blind and I hear the click and I know it's at 45. So I appreciate the compliment to everybody, but yeah, it's a frame. It's 45 degrees. Two of them make 90. All of a sudden, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> the, the framing question's almost as irritating as the cabinet question. They look at all of my furniture and there, it's a natural edge board suspended on a cylinder and they ask if I can build a cabinet. Yeah, it's a rectangle. You're like, it's bull wing. Cabinets in our house. Yeah, I can get a piece of plywood that's a rectangle and then make, you know, a 3D rectangle. Okay, it's a cabinet, everybody. Don't ask me if I build cabinets, it's a rectangle. <laughs> it's insulting. Beep. 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 This next one is just, it's a pet peeve of ours. And I don't know if it's a pet peeve of all artists, but it's when people come into the booth and we don't know you at all, you're a complete stranger, and you tell us what we should do. It's <laughs> like, oh, this is nice. You should do this, da, da, da. You should not be telling me what to do. Tell me, you know what you gotta do? You gotta chew sugarless gum. It's along the lines of when we were teaching, you know, if you don't have anything to do, if your kids don't have anything to do, you could make us a doorstop or fix this Christmas ornament. You know, if you're bored, you could. Yeah, we are never bored. The brain doesn't shut off, ever. So, so thank you for the idea <laughs> generation, everybody. Yes. But no. Be like Weird Al, he doesn't take a... Yeah, he doesn't take requests and you respect him. <laughs> He's been around for 40 years, yeah. okay? He is a national treasure! No, you should just be... Mind your... This is one that happens probably every single place we go. And we understand why people do it. You come into a booth, you look at the price, and you immediately leave. Oh yeah. It's like, that's insulting to me because like, you don't have to buy something. You can just enjoy the art. Thank you. It's like, we're, we make it look like a mini gallery because it's not our favorite thing. So we're gonna make it look nice. But when you run in there, look at the price and run out, you're essentially telling us, I love your art. Is that the price? Goodbye. And then they don't look at anything else? Yeah, they just look at the price. It's not a price gallery, it's an art gallery. Jerks, don't do it. Anyway. And there's another one, I get it from a different business point of view, but it's when you ask if you can donate a piece. And we usually do donate stuff because for the world's poorest philanthropists, we like giving stuff away, it makes people happy. But usually artists that are at an art fair are not swimming in money, people. They're trying to pay the mortgage. Don't ask us to give stuff away and we're trying to sell it. Bruh. And again, I think it would depend on the charity that's involved. Mm -hmm. And don't you dare tell us it's good exposure. We're out in a farm field. That's exposure. <laughs> With an impending snowstorm coming, yes. That would be like, what did we read? The one person got an operation. They said, I can't pay the doctor, but I'll tell everybody in town you're the best doctor around. It'll be good exposure. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't work for any field, any occupation. Don't you dare say it. Sorry if I interrupted. No, it's okay. It's good. You're going to have so much editing. <laughs> So much editing, people, you don't know. Oh, oh. Oh, they just did. This next one, it, and we understand why people say it and it's flattering, but you don't have to say it. Can you sign this so it'll be worth a lot of money when you're famous? Or when I'm dead? Well, I wasn't getting to that part yet. Oh, <laughs> sorry. We understand that you think our stuff's really good and we're gonna be famous, but usually for the art world and art history, it makes lots of money when they're dead. So that's what we think about. It's like, can you sign this so when you die, it makes me money. Thank you for the compliment, but. It's a little morbid. Okay, I'll still sign it. <laughs> well, and we will to honor them because it's going to be their piece, not, you know, not in our mm -hmm. position anymore. But like for paintings, I don't sign on the front because I think it detracts from the painting. I'll sign it on the back. And some people want us to sign it just because they like us and they brag about us and they can show people, hey, this is from these two weirdos over in North Central Wisconsin. <laughs> yes, that's... And most of the people that we that have asked us to sign stuff, they're close personal friends and they enjoy having a personal item from us. <laughs> so if they didn't sign the art, you don't, don't ask them to sign the art because they didn't sign it for a purpose. Yeah. They didn't want to. But anyways, that's our little rant of how to talk to an artist. You don't have to say any of that. The only thing that you really need to do is say, good job, we like that. It makes us feel good. You are not obligated to buy anything from us. We're showing our stuff because we enjoy showing our stuff, because we enjoy making our stuff. Well, making a sale is It's nice. always nice too, but at the same time, you're not obligated to buy something and you don't have to feel guilty 
if you didn't buy anything. Right. So if you're watching this and you're an artist, leave a comment in the, where you leave comments to see if there's anything we missed, little things that you have heard that may have annoyed you. And if you're not an artist, you can always leave a comment saying what you've learned from today's little rant because we do appreciate people that come to support us at fairs. And if you can't support us by buying something, you just support us by showing up. And another way you can support us is we do have a Patreon page because we're like we said, those weirdo artists. And for you people that already support us on Patreon, thank you very much. We appreciate the heck yes. out of you. You guys are the awesome Patronies. Is that what you're calling it yeah, now? Yeah, you're Patronies now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh God. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you learned something and we hope it wasn't too nanty. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs> bye.